Hello, this is a very quick look at the Omegon Personal Planetarium, the universe to go. This is quite an interesting unit. At first it might look like a VR headset, but in actual fact this is an augmented reality headset. And instead of putting the phone on the front as you normally would, what you actually do is put the phone in the top, and if I remove this front panel, you can see that you can see straight through. So the phone actually reflects off that plastic panel, and whatever you're looking at in the night sky, the phone screen overlays information, so it gives you information about stars and planets and things. Your phone's held in place via this uh, padding, and you can remove sections of padding to make sure your phone fits. I'm going to be using an LG G3, and as you can see, that's probably the largest phone you want to put in this. For your reference, it's about 15 centimeters across, excluding any foam on the inside, which you'd probably want just to keep your, your phone from getting damaged. And you can see here it's about uh, it's, uh, eight centimeters, so about 15 by eight. If your phone's bigger than that, it's definitely not gonna fit into this. So you take this foam section out and you can pop out little bits to get phones into this. Because the LG G3 is quite a big phone, I only need to take out the main middle section and then pop that back in and that just acts as a buffer and holds the phone in place. It's worth noting that a phone the size of the LG G3 is actually quite a tight fit and so it can be quite tricky to get out. When you are putting it in you do need to remember to start the app. This app is free to download and it has two modes. You've got a free to use mode which is available to all users and there's a planetarium mode which is only available if you've purchased the headset. To use the app with the headset, you're going to have to carry out a calibration. This can be done a couple of times if you mess it up the first time for some reason. And it's okay, it follows very clear instructions, um, but I found that no matter how often I did the calibration, it often wouldn't line up with the stars I was looking at. Universe to go needs to know the exact position of your smartphone where you placed it into the phone. It needs to make a screen calibration now. So as you can see, I wasn't ready for the calibration process first time around, but second time around, I was fine. It involves just following the on-screen instructions, and you then have to uh, place it in the headset, move your head around, tilt it left and right, things like that. And eventually, the app will fire up, and you are ready for a bit of stargazing. Now, the idea is that you uh, point this at the sky at something that you're interested in learning more about, and the app will tell you what is in the night sky and give you more information. Now you can't hear this, unfortunately I forgot to record the sound. It was uh, giving information verbally as I was looking around the night sky and for the larger uh, objects that we know more about, you can also zoom in and get a really good commentary of uh, detailed information. So just to point out that these are left and right images, you'd actually only see one image when you're looking at this uh, on the phone itself. The Mars one in particular is quite interesting because you can descend to the planet and actually have a little look around. So the movement you see in here is me just turning around. I'm stood on the spot, just turning around, having a look around. You can see some of the stitching in the photos, but it doesn't detract from uh, the actual experience of having a little look around stood on Mars. The app menu system works very well. You don't have to take the phone out. You simply tilt your head up, down, and then right to select. As you can see, there's loads of great modes. I really like the uh, mythology mode as that gives you the background as to why certain constellations and configurations are called what they are. It gives you the stories behind it. So as an education tool, this is really, really cool. Filming this in use is really tricky because of course it is pitch black when you are using this ideally so you can do a bit of stargazing so if i just enhance the video you'll see that what we're using here is we're holding it up rather than using the straps and that's because the straps aren't very good but also you quite often want to take it down and check things with the naked eye or you might want to grab a pair of binoculars or have a look through a telescope or just pass them on to whoever you're stargazing with the app itself is brilliant it's got loads of really interesting information especially if you're into stargazing the unit that you put your phone in is okay, but it is a bit of a squeeze to get your phone in and out if you do have something large like the LG G3. It doesn't always line up with the night sky, but when it does, it really does a great job of giving you loads of information. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.